Hi there, I'm Mark Stubb and I'm the owner of Folkway Music here in Waterloo, Canada. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit today about this guitar, which is a 1933 Gibson LO. You'll notice the black and white finish, sometimes called a tuxedo finish. Uh, but there's a few other details about this guitar that I'll point out to you that are kind of interesting. It's a 1933 model, factory order number 370. In factory order batch 370, we find 12 and 14 fret versions of this very guitar. The 14 fret versions have the elevated fingerboard, the 12 fret versions don't. Um, it's one of the latest 12 fret Gibson L bodies that, uh, that we've seen. And it's pretty interesting for a few other reasons too. It's a V-neck guitar. Most of the black and white LOs were round necks, but 33 they started making V-neck instruments and this has the V-neck on it. And it has a bound sound hole, which suggests that possibly this top was originally destined to go on a Nick Lucas, perhaps, or a higher, higher end model Gibson, but it found its way onto this guitar. Rounded bridge suggests that it was made in 33. The guitar is in mint condition, or not mint, but pretty near mint condition. Uh, it's in beautiful shape, almost crack free, and, uh, and it plays beautifully. Um, these are wonderful instruments uh, for people that have a very well-developed uh, picking attack, in my case, my left hand, in most people's case, their right hand. Um, they're very full and rich and woody and open, um, and the back is particularly resonant, so it's important to keep this guitar off of your belly when you're playing it for, for best tone. Uh, they do really well with fingerstyle blues, any kind of fingerstyle playing. Um, really excel at drop tunings, drop D, uh, open D tuning. And, um, and are just an awful lot of fun to play. They sound nothing like the later L00s uh, built a year later and into the early 40s. It really is an early Gibson built at the very end of the time when Gibson was just figuring out how to build a flat top guitar, a much more lightly built guitar than, than later models. Anyways, it's a beautiful instrument. You can see more of it on our website at folkwaymusic.com.